Hey everybody, it's Tracking Pat. In today's video, we're going to do a brief overview on the Track 3120 lathe. Like all of our other lathe models, we are using the Prototrack RLX as our control, and all of those parts are exactly the same as what you've seen in some of the other videos. But there are some differences as well, and we're going to talk about those. Like the rest of the machines, of course, you can run this thing both manually or in CNC mode. And you can also have some of the other features that you would have in the other machines. The options that come with the control as far as software options include the ability to have tracking, advanced features, DXF programming, an extra auxiliary output, and of course you can also buy the offline programming system for this. So to get a little bit better idea on how everything's going here, let's uh, take a better look at what we got going on. Okay, so let's talk about some of the features that come included on this model as well as some of the optional features. First of all, this is a gap bed. It's got 118 inches between the centers. 33 inches swing over the bed. 43 and a half swing over the gap. 21.2 inches of swing over the cross slide. And last but not least, 20 and a half inches of swing or cross travel, I should say cross slide travel, okay? Um, it has two speed ranges, which you can see right here. If I move this door out of the way, I can switch it from high to low gear. You're also gonna see in here that I've got switches to jog the spindle in order to change gears and also to lock and hold its position. Um, another thing I wanna talk about, it's 30 horsepower, all right? It has an A2-11 spindle nose and it has a very generous 6.3 inch through hole all the way through the spindle, okay? If I come over here to the other side, you're gonna notice here that you have the optional rear chuck for the machine, okay? Which is a 16 inch chuck if you get it through us. And of course the chuck that you would buy for the machine if you get it through us is a 20 inch chuck, all right? Some of the other features I wanna talk about as you can see over here, here's the steady rest right and you can see the follow rest that's on the cross slide as well as you can kind of see if i move this door over this way you can see here that you have the one and a quarter inch tooling right you can see the tail stock which is standard it also has an air assist to make it easier to move it back and forth um, you'll see that here we have a mechanism here that will help you allow you to hook it into the tail stock here to make it easier to move it to where you need it. And if you forget to disengage it, it will not let you run the machine. It also, if you're just trying to jog the machine, it's gonna slow it from 400 inches a minute to only 100 inches a minute so that you uh, won't be trying to move it too fast and drag the tail stock along with you, okay? Your standard rapid rates, of course, like I said, are 400 inches. That would be 200 inches per minute in the X axis, okay? And then some of the other features we should talk about here a little bit have to do with the way the door works and engages. So I'm gonna bring this over here and show you that there's actually a plunger here and there's the ability to line this up and connect it right to the carriage so that when I'm running, the door, the control, and the protection all follow the operator as he's using the machine. There's some other features in here that have automatic bumpers in here so that if for some reason as the door is traveling it touches any kind of an object or the operator it'll automatically shut down the machine um, as it's traveling this way and it's engaged if that door is closed it'll slowly but surely push that door out of the way to keep the chips on the inside of the machine okay some of the other features that come with it the lights come with it the coolant pump comes with it so those are standard just like the tail stock is standard okay um, a few other things that you should know, there's a door guard here where I can slide this out of the way to make it easier entry to get in and get my parts in and out of the machine. It does have to be closed to be running, okay? Um, you have your standard jog stick here, as well as you can see right here that it has the ability to control the conveyor system. So if you have the optional conveyor system, the standard trays underneath are replaced with these that actually have the ability to get the chips down and onto the conveyor, which I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so here I am at the end of the machine and I want to discuss a few things before we go any further. First of all, the basic dimensions are 212 inches long by 86 by 80. 
and it weighs approximately 19,000 pounds. As you can tell here, you get a little bit better view of the tailstock and you can see that here is the trigger in order to add the air to make it easier to move it back and forth by hand, okay? On my other side, if you look over this way, you can see where the conveyor comes out of the back of the machine and the bucket to catch all of the chips, all right? A few other things I forgot to mention. There's an optional 30 inch face plate that you can get for the machine. And I think it's important to know that like all the rest of our track machines, we're using brushless servo motors that have very high resolution encoders, okay? You can kind of get an idea also with me standing here because I'm all of five foot nine that the machine is very big in size. And if you don't get the opportunity to see it for real up front, this should at least give you an idea between the dimensions and my dimensions on what you're really looking at, okay? Uh, if there's anything that I missed and you still got some questions left over, I highly recommend you talk to your local track rep and he'll help you with the rest of the process. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video.